Hey everybody, my name is Jay Young and thank you so much for watching and listening to the Make Customers Great Again podcast. When I was a kid, there was a television program that I used to quite enjoy. It was called Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. You remember that, right? And occasionally, Mr. McFeely would drop by with a speedy delivery. And sometimes it was a, a movie or a film about something that Mr. Rogers was talking about, how something was made. Remember, uh, Mr. McFeely would bring it to Mr. Rogers and he would put it in picture, picture. And, and we would all get to learn how something was made, how a toothbrush was made. We're all like, wow, that's how they make a toothbrush? And it was kind of fun to see, right? You know, the bristles would go in and it would the plastic and... And it was kind of fun to see how that was made. There's a there's a show on, it's called How Things Are Made. And I'll sit and watch it from time to time. They were they were showing the other night how to make chandeliers. And these are they're still hand glass blown chandeliers. And it shows these guys working with the glass and it's showing how a chandelier is made or how pallets are made and all of these things, right? And ultimately, nobody really cares how something is made. It makes for great television. Okay, I'll give you that. It made for great Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. But for the most part, we just want the thing, Right? You, if you're driving down the street in your car, you're not going, oh, I wonder how the uh, the U-bolts and the uh, the transmission and the drive, you know, you don't care about that. You just, you want how it drives, how it feels, how it makes you feel, all the, the navigation and the digital whatnots in it, right? Well, I think that uh, a lot of business people must have been huge fans of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. The reason why I say that is because when you go to their websites, it's it's full of stuff of how 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 it's done, the tools that make it happen, not the end result, the solution that you want. <laughs> Let me see if I can make that a little more clear. So sometimes you go to a website and. Let's say it's, uh, you know, somebody who's doing uh, an esthetician, right? I think that's how you pronounce that name. It's somebody who does facials and stuff like that. This is, uh, this seems, and, and you'll see a lot of this on Groupon. You'll see women, you know, with their faces kind of pressed in these vices, it looks like. And then there's these looks like a gun shooting lasers and, and pins into their face. And the ultimate goal is that it's making their skin look toned and, and lovely and, and luscious and youthful. But what it shows on the website is this woman in a, in her, her head's in a vice, you know, it's like squished up like this and it's all red and inflamed and, it, it just looks painful. And ultimately what they're selling is beauty and youth and health and, and loveliness. But that's not what it looks like. It's, it looks like something you would have saw in Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Hey, how do you have a youthful face? Well, you stick a needle in it here and you pull it here and you scrub it here and you pinch it. That's not what you want. You want the end result. People don't care how it's done. They want the end result. And you sell the end result. That's what they're good. They're, they're going to be lined up at your business when you mouthwater them for the end result, what they really want. I hope that makes sense. So next time you're you're looking around or watching a television commercial. How many times you'll see a television commercial and they're selling the tools that make something happen? Not what you really want, but the, and you know, look, look at a website and go, oh, yep, there's another one selling their tools instead of the end result. 
So I hope that makes sense because, you know, I, I just remember Mr. Rogers was a fine program. Picture, picture taught us, you know, how to, how toothbrushes were made. But ultimately when I use a toothbrush, I don't care how it was made. I don't care if they use horse hair for the, well, maybe I would care about that, but <laughs> I, I just want it to be a good toothbrush that'll keep my teeth white, my gums healthy. Does that make sense? I hope it does. If you got something out of this today, leave a comment in the comments section below. If you want more information about how we help businesses create messages, create the kind of messages that people line up for in their marketing, whether maybe it's not in their marketing, maybe it's just in their store on their displays, it's in their in their messages to their current customers and clients. You can go to makecustomersgreatagain.com. Makecustomersgreatagain.com. And there's some uh, some great things that you'll be able to take advantage of there. And I, I, I'd love to get your feedback. When you see a, a another example of picture in picture or how things are made, you go, oh, that's interesting, but you know, Actually, I just want the thing, not how it's made. So again, my name is Jay Young. Thank you so much for watching today.